was donkey up the day. Made it. Damn, the hee haw again. <laughs> it's time for donkey of the day. <laughs> I mean, ain't trying to be Donkey today no more. They should be embarrassed by what they already did. I I'm not making these people do these things. Called Donkey of the Day, and it really caught me off guard. Damn, Charlemagne, mm. who got the Donkey of the Day today? Mm. Well, Jess Hilarious, uh, <clears throat> hold on. Okay, Donkey of the Day for Monday, November 13th. It has me a little bit torn. Okay, I can see why both parties involved should get the biggest hee-haw. In fact, I may leave it up to Breakfast Club listeners to decide. I may mm -hmm. decide by the time I finish doing this donkey of the day. I don't know. It's Monday, so I'm just going with the flow. Wherever the spirit leads me, I shall follow. But donkey of the day is either going to an Australian police officer named Constable Dominique Francis or is going to a junior colleague who works with Dominique named Constable Morgan Royston. Now, before I report this donkey, we need to talk about spoilers. When I say spoilers, I mean folks who have already seen a movie or TV show before you, and they ruin it for you by telling you what happened. I know it's almost impossible to avoid spoilers in this internet era, but keyword is almost. I haven't seen the Marvels yet, but I plan to, and everybody keeps telling me about this amazing post credit scene, but they aren't telling me what the scene is, and I'm grateful for that. I just finished Loki season two yesterday. Nobody gave me any spoilers for that either, so it must be two things. Either I'm really great at ducking spoilers or nobody is watching Marvel anymore. One of the two. But there is nothing worse than spoilers. Okay, I read once, you know, why we hate spoilers so much. And it's because the suspense aspect is of paramount importance to the enjoyment of the movie or TV show. We have complete anticipation for the movie, but also for the ending. So don't take away someone's experience by spoiling it. All right. They should be allowed to feel the same pleasure you felt, uh, uh, you know, when you went to go watch. And when you spoil a TV show or film, the frustration that comes with that is very, very real. The only thing that's worse than spoiling a movie is binge watching a series with your significant other. And that significant other watches an episode without you. If you start together, you got to finish together. And please don't go see a film y'all both wanted to see without each other. See, now you're just showing me that you don't care about my well-being in any way, shape or form. But let's stick to the matter at hand. Spoilers. They suck. And according to court documents, this all started over Top Gun Maverick starring mm. Tom Cruise. This movie has made billions of dollars. It's one of those films that a lot of people have seen. But clearly a lot of people haven't because Dominique didn't. Dominique is one of those people. And Morgan couldn't respect the fact that Dominique hadn't seen it yet. Morgan said, and I quote, I saw the movie. I'll spoil it for you. Well, how did Dominique reply? Let's go to a man named Very White with TBC News for the report, please. Some people take their movie spoilers seriously. In Sydney, Australia, Constable Dominic Francis Gaynor was working the counter at the police station. That's when probationary constable Morgan Royston mentioned that he finally saw the 2022 blockbuster Top Gun Maverick and was going to spoil it for Gaynor, who apparently had yet to see it. Gaynor then reportedly laughed as a colleague left the room and said, Don't spoil the movie! or I'll shoot you. Mm. He then pulled out his firearm in the vicinity of the complainant and held it stationary for five seconds, though his finger was said to be off the trigger. Following the incident, Royston said he dealt with depression and was forced to quit the force. Gaynor was suspended without pay. Side note, if it's been more than a year and you still haven't seen a movie as big as Top Gun Maverick, the spoilers are pretty much off the table. I'm Barry White for TBC News. I totally, I totally, totally feel him, okay? Choppers chopping, pistols popping, all right? Dominique, I feel your pain. When I heard the story, I thought to myself, oh, this man is dealing with something mentally because he didn't want the movie spoiled because he already knew. I want to go see this movie because it's the escape I need for a minute. It will bring me pleasure. It shall bring me joy. And when Dominique came to his hearing about this case, he described suffering from depression and anxiety as a result of the incident and said uh, he has since had to leave the force. I'm not a psychiatrist or a therapist. Okay, I'm not here to self-diagnose anyone, but he probably was depressed before, you know, Morgan decided to ruin the movie for him. That's why it triggered him so bad, because he didn't want his joy to be stolen from him. All right, see, when you deal with depression, all you're looking for is pockets of joy. When you deal with anxiety, all you're looking for is pockets of peace. So it's the little things, like movies. All right, don't too many things bring me peace and joy, like sitting in a the movie theater with some popcorn and peanut M&Ms, watching a great flick. Okay, I couldn't, I couldn't wait to see, so for you to take that from me? Not justifying this officer pulling a gun on another officer, even though when it comes to cop-on-cop cop violence, we probably should all mind our business, but I slightly feel him. Just a little bit. But none of it is worth a charge. 
But maybe this will be a lesson to spoilers all over the globe that we are fed up. Now I'm going to do the responsible thing and give Dominique Francis, uh, the human who pulled the gun on Morgan for spoiling the movie, the biggest hee-haw. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But, hmm? do you feel him? No, not after a year, Just bro. a little bit. After a year? It's a people, blockbuster. People got, t people got other things going it's on. It's over a year. People though. don't be having time. It's over a year, but he did try to tease him. I'm going to tell you the spoiler. Exactly. You, know, you, you know what I'm saying? Him. You just gonna tease me? Why you playing me? with my I'm emotions? Tell you, spoiler, you didn't Come see on, it yet. Exactly. Well, I'm tell you what exactly. Even though it's very stupid to pull a gun for something like that, just the the the, the principle. Why are you playing with me? Yeah, because he didn't have to tease you me. Ain't tease he he could have did it like he just did. If he did it in just passing, like oh, I seen it this weekend. Did you see the ending? And this, that, and the other. Then I understand. But you want to tease me? I can spoil it for you. All right. I can spoil it. I can spoil your life. But he had to pull a gun, though. A gun a little he too far. To he went a little, 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 little too far. Sure, sure. Gun a little too far. Sure. You can hold that sure. in five seconds. Sure. One, but it, but it's two, the principle. three, it's the four, it's just five. The it's just the principle. That's uh, all. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today. Mm -hmm. BET, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.